Hey guys, welcome to another one of our reviews. I'm Worm, and this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of a Ribbled Wall Atomizer. It's a clone. <laughs> yeah, we know. Um, Mr. Proton bought this one. Um, either way, is one. It doesn't affect our review in any way, shape, or form. Ever at all. Ever free or bought, it doesn't matter. No. Um, let's crack on. Right, what we're doing today is the Rocket Rebuildable Atomizer Kit from Snailtech um, or Fasttech.com. Um, price on this one, when I bought it, it was about £7.30. It's now gone up to £8.49. I'm guessing exchange rates and God knows what else on Fasttech raising that price a little bit because they are known for doing that when something goes popular. Um, See so yeah, a Rocket kit, it's under a tenner. So there you go. What we're going to do is we'll do a little close up and a re wick. Um, standard procedure uh, and then we'll come back up to us and flappery dingle um, I guess so yeah let's go down we'll do that now right guys this is a little close up of the uh, rocket as you will receive um, as you can see nice little sort of camouflage presentation box with the big rocket written on the front of it um, pop that off open it up inside if you haven't got big bare hands like me you have got the uh, the atomizer itself um, you also get a pack of, or a pack of, a bit of silica and uh, resistance wire. I haven't used that, I never do, to be honest with you. Um, and then you get a little bag of tools. There's a little mini screwdriver, there's a Allen key for your air control. Um, you've also got um, some, I don't know if you can see them in there, guys, but you've also got some screws, um, four of them for your center uh, negative and positive posts, and also four grub screws for your um, airflow, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if we open it up, we've got some instructions, um, basic but better than none, um, sort of assembly guidelines, um, that's for your airflow control. And then you have got, you've got filling there um, in the valve, but then if you look here, it actually shows you filling from the top, so hey ho, we don't know. Um, but that is what it is, it's, it's something which is better than nothing for sure. Um, let me just get rid of this box guys. Actually, having a look at the device, if you're familiar with a K fund, you're familiar with this really. I mean, you've got kind of a barreled center, which is quite it's quite nice to be honest with you. I think it's, uh, it's all right. Um, in terms of build, it's a bit, mm -hmm, but that is what it is. Um, we have a little, it's exactly the same as a 3.1, guys. Um, clip tip off the top, top cap, top part of the tank. The tank itself, uh, which is polycarbonate, um, and then you've got the bottom part of the tank, chimney, oh, quite a lot of screw threading, and then Tim Man's hat, as in the K-Fun Light video, um, and then your base section. Um, all of these parts, guys, are chrome plated brass. I didn't, don't really expect anything more for uh, <laughs> the pittance of cash that you're paying for it. Um, in terms of the actual I'll be itself. Um, what can you say? That's actually uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, that center post is adjustable uh, around the edge here. If you can see it, there we go. You've got your fill hole there, your valve, and then you've also got your um, that is your actual airflow inlet, and then this is your control for the airflow. Um, and a little bit of marking on there as well to show you what's what, which is pretty cool. Uh, in terms of all of this stuff, um, barring sort of that and that. This all does feel fairly cheap to be honest with you. These tank sections, they are very light. Um, and the, t the chimney's not bad, but yeah, they are very light. So just be aware, guys, don't expect um, supreme build quality because you're not going to get it. Um, we are going to stick a coil in this for you. Um, what we're going to do is a <laughs> look for my stuff and things. Um, we're going to do like a sub ohm micro coil or a semi sub ohm micro coil, shall we say. I'm actually going to try and use this little screwdriver here see how we get on with that. Um, not planned anything guys, so give me two ticks whilst to get my tools together. What we're going to use is some 28 gauge canthole. Just unravel that a wee bit. Um, so we've got a bit of 28 gauge there, probably about 6 or 7 inches of it. Um, and there's a 2 mil drill bit. All we're going to do, very simply, I think I'll start by loosening these off actually. Uh, with this screwdriver guys, to be honest, it feels like something you get out of a uh, a Christmas cracker but then that's what I expect it to feel like um, it does do the job though so there you go um, and then what we're going to do is literally drill a bit wire we're going to do five wraps of 28 get them as close together as possible 
like so. Hopefully you can make that out, guys. Just about. Um, now with this, saying that up in a city, Dan, haven't I? There we go. Got one face in one way, one face in the other for the K fun or the uh, rocket, should I say? Um, and then with that, all we're going to do is literally place her across the top there, pull that round like so, and screw it down. Uh, with these screws, unlike the K-Fun, you're not going to get some seriously thick wire. I mean, you don't get seriously thick wire under it with the K-Fun, but it's even harder in here. So, same on this side, literally drill bit in, pull it round like that, and then just screw it down. I'm going to put it in a bit further, actually, like that. Screw it down so that she holds, like so. And then we're going to just use the drill bit to manipulate it into place. I have to put it over slightly. There we go. Um, and that is about the strength of it, guys, to be honest with you. Then I'm just going to pull the drill bit out. And we're going to clip these off quickly. One and two. Um, at this point, I'm going to need a mod of some description. Now this battery is fairly full, but basically what we're going to do is just heat it up slightly and then use these sort of go-go gadget arm tweezers just to pinch them coils together. Um, one thing we have noticed when coiling this is that it is a bit, it seems to have more area around these channels here. Um, than a K-Fun necessarily would, sorry guys the channels there that are cut out, you seem to be able to get more cotton there than you would with a, a sort of a, a K-Fun or a K-Fun light um, from there, that's the coil in place, fairly fairly easy when you're using that method um, from there we're just going to stick a wee bit of cotton in it Let's just grab some of this cotton guys, right, sorry As far as cotton wicks goes, if you're if you're familiar with them, guys, then you'll know um, what they are like. If you're not, uh, there are certain benefits to doing it. Of course, the flavour is excellent. Um, they don't tend to stack up as long. No, guys, sorry if I'm just off camera. I'm just making a uh, a little cotton sausage so we can thread it through. And whenever I'm using cotton, I tend to sort of make the wick like so quite loose, and then do one end really tight to give me something to pull through with. Then we just literally thread her through and we pull. We don't want too much resistance, that's a bit too much there. If I'm with you, so we'll keep going and get to a loose a bit. There we go. Um, and then we just trim it down. Now, typically with a cave one, I'd be trimming sort of here. With this, I'm going to trim a bit further back. Um, oh, hello. Purely because, uh, like I say, it seems to be able to take a bit more and benefit from having a bit more wick in it. So, a really tall. Play and then again use the tweezers and we kind of just push them in and around. What juice are we using, Minge? I have no idea. Just chuck us a juice that we can. What you've got in the other one? Nothing. Okay. Uh... You don't want to obstruct these channels, but again, like we say with this one, we have found these. I'm not sure if the channels are slightly deeper or whatever, but that's what we tend to be going with. So what we're going to do is just very briefly lube up these wicks like so doesn't need to be absolutely smothered but you want to make sure there's plenty on the coil um, give that a second to sort of do its business in fact I might I might go old school with it if I will hold and pull them up and then put them through the chimney um, so as far as assembly goes chimney over if you watched the K Fun Light video we did, then uh, this is exactly the same process. But now that the wicks are up, obviously you can see I've got that to deal with. Uh, so I'm just going to put it off camera, guys, for one second and push these wicks down into the well. You don't want to be ramming them down, but you do want to be sort of tucking them in, like so. Hopefully, you can make that out. That's what we're left with. Um, and if we give her a little bit of a. We've got vapor, lovely stuff. Um, 
clear this desk. Uh, and then as far as putting it all back together guys, all you want to do is same as a K-Fun chimney on the top, uh, bottom tank section, just here. Something to be aware of guys, these O-rings that they come with here, these little white ones, um, you may want to think about replacing those. They're not the they're not the best O-rings if I'm honest with you. Uh, it seems to be the only sort of downfall with this device so far. It's not that I've had many leaks with it, they just don't they don't feel to make a really good seal, they just sort of just about do the job if that makes sense. Um, as far as filling it goes, again the valve for seven quid, I don't trust this valve. I know this uh, is available other retailers, and it's a lot more expensive than seven quid. But even still, I don't, I don't like the valve. So what I've been doing to fill it is literally just down the uh, side of the the uh, rocket um, until we're basically just below the top of the atty, and then we'll do the rest. This bottle takes forever to get liquid out of. I hate these bottles for tanks anyway. Good for dripping though. Pull that full, uh, and then what we've been doing with it is putting the top cap on, giving it half a turn, and then flipping it. All right, don't worry about putting your finger above the air hole. If you just flip it, any excess air should find its way out of that air hole. Um, and then put your top on, simple as that. Uh, and obviously, you can then use your Allen key to adjust your airflow. Um, found that it's loose, this is about 1.4, 1.5 at its tightest. It, it seems to go from 1.4 to 1 to 0.5 to none basically um, reason we've coiled it that way is because we plan on running these side by side with what it's meant to be replicating um, so this is the uh, the light and it is coiled in exactly the same way we'll prime that now um, we're going to fill it and have a little vape compare them side by side because um, I have I want to see it's going to be interesting um, so yeah, I want to see exactly what is what with it, but you've seen how to fill a K-Fun guys, so we'll quickly do that, uh, and then we'll come back up to us, we'll fill this up, come back to us and have a little vape. Hi guys, that was the uh, close-up of the uh, Rocket RBA. Um, as you can see, or you know by now, it's meant to be cloning and the uh, K-Fun. Yes, um, but... At least it doesn't have K-Fun written on it, or Swamisto, or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's, let's face it, it's a, it's a very cheap clone of um, a higher-end device. So that is what it is. I bought it for the lols, basically, just wanted to see if it came anywhere near close. Um, it's, as far as materials go, not listed. Um, there's definitely chrome-plated chrome chrome -plated brass. Um, it wouldn't surprise me, pretty much every part of this is chrome-plated brass. Um, tank, uh, I believe it's polycarbonate. Uh, I don't actually know to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure if it's specced it, but to be honest with you, for seven quid, I wasn't expecting anything other than polycarbonate. No, it doesn't say. Uh, it's made of chrome plated metal. Oh, sorry, with an uh, aluminium plastic tank section. So basically, your rings there are alley, apparently. It doesn't look alley to me, but that's what they're claiming. Um, and the plastic is that it's going to be polycarbonate. Yeah. So obviously, certain juices. Um, some of the specs, it says 23mm. Um, I don't think so, I think 22. Um, and also uh, tank capacity on fast tech is five mil for this. Um, a little bit optimistic, I think. Four mil would be, yeah. Yeah, more realistic, but. Um, well, that's, I mean, it probably is five mil using a valve, but, well, the hole. Um, <laughs> but we ha I haven't actually tried to use a valve, and to be honest with you, I can imagine as soon as you do, it's probably gonna go um, and just leak like a hole would. I don't know this for sure, but it's just, it, I've, I've, I tried a nozzle in there and squeezed and nothing happened, so um, there you go, that is what it is. Obviously guys, we haven't got a proper uh, 3.1 cave on, which obviously this is trying to replicate in some way, so we've got the uh, valve and the adjustable airflow and that, uh, but we have got the light, but we have built these exactly the same. It's shown it's show on camera, they're exactly the same, tested them exactly the same resistance, 0.8 coils in these, both on cotton. There's a little bit more cotton in the rocket just purely because it seems like you need more cotton in here just to stop it flooding basically. So be aware of that guys. Um, on a K fund it looked like enough. On a rocket it looked like way too much. It needs to look like way too much uh, with cotton anyway that we found. So there you go. How about you try we can these bad boys with silica or no. this bad boy, but there you go, that is what it is. Um, as far as everything else goes, I mean looks wise it's not dissimilar from a K fund. You've got a sort of a barrel thing going on in the middle there. Um, it's 
<laughs> it is what it is. Um, I mean, you've got an adjustable airflow, a valve, um, a decent size capacity, and everything else is the same kind of build. Uh, not build quality, but hey, put it together, same kind of stuff. As you mentioned in the close up, um, the O rings that come, um, I'd recommend changing them. I haven't done. Um, and I've noticed that this thing does like to lose juice now and again. Um, I know that some guys are having no issues with this whatsoever, and other guys are, so I may be one of the ones that I am. Uh, if you're not, then good for you. I'm pretty sure there's nothing more I can say about that. But uh, we'll do a little update when Mr. Brown changes his O-rings, and we'll tell you if it if it works or if it doesn't, and uh, whether it's just the device itself, whether you get a lucky build or a lucky unlucky build, basically. Yeah, one more thing um, quickly to want to mention is in the just catch the section at the bottom. I've noticed if you screw it onto an 80, sometimes you twist it and undo from there as opposed to the 510, just something to watch out for, guys. You'll see it, see it happening because it will be happening in front of your eyeballs. Um, so, yeah, just be aware of that again. Just guys. try and grab it from the bottom if possible. It's, it's, it's the same with the uh, K from Lights Bonus. If you try and grab it from the tank section, sometimes you will just take the whole oh, yeah, field. I'm not talking about that, so I'm talking about that. Yeah, I know. But yeah, but make sure just, you screw it where yeah. you had to. Hold the bottom. There you go. Um, anything else on it? Not really, to be honest with you. I know these are available at other vendors. We did see it from, from another vendor for, well, if it's exactly the same, a ridiculous price, if we're honest with you. We're not going to mention the vendor, but... It was um, 30 euros. 40, 40 euros. Was it 39.99 euro, yeah. yeah. Um, and that, I mean, this in euro now would only still be about 10 euros, or euro. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is what it is. Um, so if I, I'd imagine and I'd hope that from the vendor um, that they have upgraded it, they have changed bits about it. Maybe it's actually stainless steel for one. Um, the tank, hopefully, well, saying it, the real K-Pong tank is polycarbon, isn't it? So it's going to be polycarbon no matter what you do. Um, but the, the, the valve system and stuff that's in there, as it is, um, I'll get onto a couple of the annoying bits I've had with it so far. The main one being. Um, it, it's like a referee's whistle at times. <laughs> it, it's not so bad. He you took out the uh, valve screw, didn't you? And that kind of cut it down before. But before that, <laughs> every time you took a pour, it was like you're whistling to some woman walking along the street or saying, "It was." Um, it was annoying. It was annoying. <laughs> at it, first, it was funny. <laughs> well, for me, it was anyway because he was sitting there <laughs> every time. But um, after I used it for about ten minutes, I was like, oh, "God!" I even though I want to vape, I didn't want to vape I that want price. To vape it. Um, it's, it's not as bad now, so I've completely removed the airflow um, screw. I feel like I like a lot of open draw. This on full open now, one and a half mil, there or thereabouts, uh, draw, maybe slightly less than that, 1.4. But it doesn't whistle off. But it doesn't whistle as much, it was worse than that before. Um, but that is what it is. So, so it, again, it, I, I paid less than eight quid for this delivered from all the way over there somewhere. Um, it, the delivery time it actually wasn't too bad, uh, being as um, fast I've had a lot of issues with Sing Post, HK Post, they're now using Swiss Post, and God knows whatever other post will, it's just not boycotted them basically. Um, but delivery time was about three weeks from Snell with their free delivery, um, or their upgraded delivery, sorry, um, for the one dollar. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. And hopefully now with this Swiss it'll be a bit quicker, but it's not something we can comment on guys, we don't know, it's fairly new to them. Um, but that is what it is. Um, should we do a five point hit and a little flap on the other side? Yeah. Okay, five point hit out. Um, looks. It, it looks K Fun like, if you yes. like. This isn't obviously a one to one clone. There are, they apparently they are on Fast Tech now, or uh, well, have been for about a week or two. Um, one one clone of uh, the K Fun, including the label and the logo and all that kind of bad boy stuff, but um, yeah, we haven't got one. Um, but that, apparently that is, but this isn't. Um, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. I think looks in, in general, it's like an eight. It's not a bad looking little thing. It's not a K fund, but then it's not K fund money. Um, so yeah, looks for me, I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, um, it's not bad looking. It's very shiny. It's um, it, it doesn't feel great, but it does look good. It does. It just um, I'm going to give it about an eight as well. Guys, the reason we're running this together, obviously, is we said we want to see just how the vapes stack up, um, and we're now swapping. I haven't actually vaped this case, and he hasn't actually vaped rocket yet, but but yeah, I'd give it an eight on that um, usability. I mean, usability is it's very similar to a K. Um, to be honest with you, it's not it's not difficult. It's more difficult than a K one because you've got to allow for that wicking thing, and you've got to, um, and you've got to. Um, maybe potentially change the rings and, and that kind of stuff. But in terms of the build, barring the fact it screws are slightly small, smaller so it's harder to get 
higher, a lower resistance wire under it. Um, the build is fairly similar. Usability for this kind of tank, uh, I'm going to give it an 8. Compared to sort of other devices, obviously it's lower and some it's going to be higher. So, but yeah, 8 I think is fair for that. Yeah, uh, the K Farm build in general seems as a high end device. It's actually a very, very simple build. It really is. It's one of the easiest ones to actually do if you're new to wicking or anything. It's uh, very easy to wick, comp even compared to some drippers. Because it is literally two open screws to put back underneath. Uh, the only problem with this one is, like Mr. Brown said, it has got smaller screws. Uh, I tried getting, I did try and re wick this um, with uh, some 0.5, and it just would not bite. Every time I got it to just bite, you'd give it that extra like little turn just to grip it, pop out every time. So, um, yeah, if you're into your seriously low res builds with uh, thicker wires, probably not for you, but if you're used to using a 28 in there or something very similar to a 28 that sort of thickness you'll be fine it, it seems to grab the 28 just nice um, but yeah I mean usability for this is just it's the same as a K really it just is it's, depending on your expertise with this sort of stuff it's going to be hitting between an 8 and a 9 there you go um, maintenance uh, I think it's where we're going next obviously um, maintaining it Again, it's going to knock down slightly below a K, obviously. Uh, one, it's not K, and two, it's not built like a K. Washing it is fairly simple stuff, all right? I mean, once you know how to take it all apart, put it back together, you've just got to wash everything and stick it all back together, okay? Um, it's not a major chore. Um, and sticking in a coil in it, mate, it's not, again, it's an eight. I, I, it's not, they're not quite tense because there are things that niggle you, there are things that, that the O rings, for example, if you don't replace them, if it does decide to randomly spurt juice, it's not something that just goes, but it's a gradual thing. I mean, I put it down, pick it up a while later, and where the fuck's that gone? Do you know what I mean? But um, that is what it is. All right, it's a cheap device. So yeah, mainly it's in general. I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, it's going to be hitting around about the same for me. I mean, there are a lot of pieces to this, but they're not overly small pieces except for the screws, unless you're taking apart the actual base and that, which you don't really need to do anyway. So when you're cleaning it anyway, um, pieces are quite big and easy to clean. Um, then there's just a recoiling part and obviously, like I said before, it's going to be hit depending on your expertise between an 8 and a 9 still, I think. Uh, it just depends on how confident you are with your builds and your devices, so, yeah. Um, I'm usually with go flavor and vapor, I'm not going to go there just yet, I'm going to chuck in build quality just briefly because you're going to be interested in exactly what the mark would be for build quality. Um, compared to a K, it's laughable. All right, it is. I'm not. I'm, there's no sugarcoating bullshit. Compared to a K fun, build quality is laughable. This the a K fun is very well held together. It's an expensive device, but it is kind of one of them that's you you hold it and you know that's worth that seventy or eighty quid. Or if you've got the frequent one, it's worth that hundred and ten quid. Um, the rocket feels like it's worth a tenner. The rocket was a tenner. All right, it is simple as that. The 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 tank sections, the, the both the metal um, are very thin. The top and bottom. They, they look cheap if you're up close with them, um, but chrome plated brass always does. Um, build quality for me, compared to a K's, is a 1. Compared to other stuff of its price range, it's like a 5, but compared to the build of the thing, what you've actually got there for the money, it's actually um, respectable, shall we say. It's not, it is, it's not built well, but it's it holds together okay. Yeah, um... The build quality is, like Mr. Brown said, compared to a K, once I think it's a zero, it, it, it doesn't even touch the K on build quality. It has to be at least a one because there's stuff there. It's built. No, <laughs> point one. <laughs> point one. It's getting a point one then. Um, <coughs> but for its price, yeah, it, I'd say it's about five. It's it's um, you can feel it's cheap, mate. Even like even when you take the bits apart, you feel them, and that it just it it feels cheap. Um, so yeah, about five. Uh, for the money you're actually paying like the eight quid for the little because Miss Brown goes for seven. Right, it's about nine quid now, but for nine quid you can't knock it really. It's just it, you would quite happily have it in your collection. It, it's it's nice for its price. Right, um, I'll let you do flavour and uh, vapour first. I think. It's, it's it's annoying. <laughs> You're going to say what I was going to say, yeah. It's just annoying. The reason I've let him do it first, or right, I'll jump in. The reason I've let him do it first, right, is because when I got it, I coiled it very quickly, and I sat there and I vaped it, and I went, oh, um, 
okay, and I sat there and I vaped it and I vaped it and I run two or three tanks through it, and I said to Worm, and I wasn't, wasn't joking, um, this thing tastes, I hadn't run the same juice in the K uh, for a while, but I said this thing seems to be giving me a better flavour than my K fun was. Um, and Worm was like, fuck off. Um, and I was like, no, I'm serious. <coughs> flavour for me is a 10. A vapour for me is a 10. Does the flavour stack up to a K fun? Yes. Um, I'm not going to lie, personally, right now, with the same coil, the same building them, the flavour in this is better. And I know that that is going to piss some people off, and it may be a very good build, but these were built, you saw them, um, and we're running them side by side. Um, one second. Sorry guys, I just want to, <laughs> before I sort of put my name to this statement, I want to make sure we're using exactly the same setup, um, and I just want to make sure that one's got the right battery now, because uh, I've got a 30 amp in mine, and one wasn't using a 30 amp, but we'll, we'll give it a second to have an adjustment. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> um, let's have a go. I'll let Worm have a go and chirp in, and then I'll have a little vape on the uh, K with that battery, and then we'll see. It's still annoying. The flavour on the K has picked up slightly with a fresh battery in, alright? Because um, it's the same battery now, uh, but we did run with the same batteries before. This is a 60 odd pound. It's been a 70. Whip. It's on sale at the moment. That is on sale, yes. 60 odd pound at the moment. Um, device, that's a 8 pound device. Yes, the build quality sucks, yes. Some things need to be changed, yes. It is 8 pound, and yes, it is a clone, and. It's, it's, a, it's a clone, but it's not. We've always said in our clone videos, guys, that it's the, the the clones aren't a bad thing, all right. Even the ones that people hate aren't necessarily a bad thing, <laughs> technically for the for the customer. Don't only clone again. But I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. This, <laughs> this isn't the same. This isn't the same rent. A clone that is based on something is, in our opinion, okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. This isn't sold as a K-Fun, it's not got K-Fun in the name, it's not got Spromesto written on it, it's it, it's quite clearly not a K-Fun, okay? So, oh yes, it's, it's designed after it, this is not a reverse engineered 1-1 one -one clone, and they're not taking the piss with it, there's no branding on it, so in our opinion, this is okay. Okay, um, I don't agree that is Val. I believe it's as good. And it's still annoying. Um, it's a bloody good vape. It just is. Uh, you, you can't knock it. It's I'll, I'll, what I will. I will with that battery and running side by side. They're exactly the same. There, there, there's a very fractional difference, but whether that's better or not is up to you. Um, personally, now I would take that K over this just because I like full charge batteries. But if these were exact, if that this battery had just been changed, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> it wouldn't fucking matter. They, they are the same vape, unfortunately, and well, I think it's fortunate to be honest with you. For people out there that can't afford the K funds, yes, it is fortunate. But at the same token, now it's just it's one of those ones where I I love my K fund. I do. I've got one. I'm planning on buying several more. I want the mini and I want the uh, three point one. Um, It, it just seems like, yes, you are losing quality of build and <coughs> all this stuff and things, and but for China just knocking them out and they are producing the same end results. Maybe not the same quality, but the end results is all you really want at the end of the day. I mean, let's be honest, uh, for price one of these, you could buy like six, seven of them when these are, when these are not on sale. Um, oh, it's a bit very bad news, you can buy eight of these. Nine if you include the price I pay for delivery. Well, whatever. But um, <laughs> you can buy several more of them. Yeah. And let's be honest, if you're going out on a night out, would you rather lose this or would you rather lose that? What I will or say is, break one of them? Well, what I will say is, though, you are more likely to break this for shit. Um, but 
if if we didn't own these, or if I didn't own these, these are both mine. If I didn't own these, and someone said, "Here's this, here's this, take them apart, play with them, la 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 la," um, that's what this costs. That's what this costs. Would I buy this for eight pound instead of buying a K fund? Hell no, hell no. I would buy that K fund every day. I love my K fund. Um, it's it's not just about if they took this back to the drawing board and they put a better system in there, if they made all of this stainless steel, if they made this properly, shall we say, to what they've been making a standard of some of these clones to, if they kept it as it is, got rid of that fucking 1-1 clone they've just got and made this one stainless steel, I couldn't do anything other than seriously recommend it all the time. Um, to be honest, I can still only seriously recommend it now. I mean, we can seriously recommend it, but would I mean, how much better would it be if that was that was three or four stainless steel, three or three, uh, or just a, a stainless steel? Yeah, it would, but then the price would go up to yeah, like 30, 40 quid. Mate, even I don't and want, even fast tech. Uh, some yeah, even fast tech. No, that'd be twenty quid fast tech. Yeah, maybe, but you don't know with all no. the integrated parts, all the machining. All well, the one one clone is fifteen quid. Is it proper stainless though? Is it? Yeah. So this this is what this is what you need to do. Concentrate on stuff like this. Make it properly, don't make it banging cheap, and get rid of the 1-1 one -one clones. Perfect. But, um, yeah, m my recommendations on this is, I would say, oh, sorry about that, uh, slight technical issues we had there, um, build up the memory card. Um, <laughs> um, I was saying, um, would I still buy a K fund over this? Yes. Um, yes, the Vapors is good, but other than that, it just, it, it's not on the, on the level it should be. And um, yes, you will get the same flavour and vapour out of it. You will get a K fun hit. So those guys out there that you cannot uh, afford, but you cannot justify paying 60, 70 quid for an atomizer, get the rocket. It is definitely my recommendation if you cannot afford these higher end devices. They are they are a good source for the people out there that are don't know what your circumstance is, but if you cannot lay out the 60, 70 quid. This is the choice for you. It just is. This is a cave on vape without the uh, price tag. Indubitably, we haven't got on title yet, but um, I, mean, I, I do and I don't agree. Um, I mean, I bought one purely because I wanted to see where it stacked up. Like, and I know a lot of guys have done and will be doing the same. Um, and you will be like, it does vape pretty much the same, but. It's not the same. I mean, when you when you've got a K, it's not the same. It's um, the building stuff is part of it. Do you know what I mean? And I know that the um, people will go, but you say this about a clone, and the clones not as built as well and stuff. But some of these clones are. That's the problem with them because they are built as well. Um, but no, it, yeah, with, with this, it's it's not a K. It's it's not. Um, it's nowhere near. But the vape is. Um, and let's face it, it's all about the vape. So if you if you want to chuck ten quid at it. You you won't be sorry. I'll say, O rings maybe sort them out. But barring that, if you can't really go wrong for a tenner, you really can't. Um, overall, overall, I want to give this um, two marks. Overall, if you're just looking at a nice, cheap end device that's going to give you a high end vape, yes, it's a ten. It just is. It's not built as well as high-end device, but you don't expect it for that sort of price. So, yeah, if you're looking for a cheap mod or device on top, atomizer, that's going to give you the higher-end vape, yeah, it's a 10. If you're looking at the K-Fun scene and you want a K-Fun, um, it's not a K-Fun, it's just not. If for you, you're going to get it, it's going to feel cheap, it's going to feel horrible, and you're just going to think, why didn't I just spend the 60 quid and get the thing that I wanted? Um, yeah, if, you, if you're looking for the K-Fun, but yeah, I, I don't want to give this a super low mark for it because it is still good, but it's just not a K-Fun. So if you're looking for a K-Fun, it's a 5 because it does perform, it just doesn't feel, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to give it too much, so I don't think it matters, it's not really a 1-1 one, one clone. I mean, to be honest, if you're looking at a K-Fun, you're looking at a clone instead of, which most of you won't be. Um, I think you'll buy the clone because you want the clone, or you'll buy the real K because you want the real K. Um, I don't think it, it is styled after, but it's not exact to Mondo. So chances are, if you're looking for a K fun and you think maybe I can find a clone to give it a go, um, you'll probably buy the the one one clone they've got on there. Um, overall, for me, yeah, build quality suffers and it leaks a little bit, and the valves 
pretty poor and it's made of chrome plate brass and it's just a bit it's cheap. just chrome plate metal so you yeah. don't even, I'm not even 100% it's brass no the top and cut bottom, bottom is definitely brass but other than that it says aluminium who knows what it is um, but all that taken into account it was 8 quid it's a ridiculously cheap price I mean we've said this before even the K fund doesn't stack up to some drippers it doesn't um, and this is not. This is exactly the same. It looks like a okay, fund for eight quid. You could buy a Zeus. You'd have to pay delivery and shipping, so it cost you nearly fifteen. Um, it's a ten. It's got to be a ten. The overall for this is just ridiculous. Um, that the vape is that good. It is. It's a, it's a bloody good vape. It is, and that's what it's all about. To be honest with you, um, and for eight quid, you're not going to be sorry for crying out loud. Worst case is the tank goes completely tears up. You fry it at the one you use it as a dripper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it is. It is a very good vape. It is a very good vape. Um, it, it's, it's nice and warm. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It will stack up to pretty much any build you want to put in it. Given not using stupidly thick wires like we do, um, and it conducts what it just. It, it does the job very well. And for eight quid, you really can't argue with anything about that. You really can't. So, uh, yeah, it's a 10 for overall. It's as simple as that. Um, obviously, Fast Tech. If you go, if you do go to Fast Tech and you haven't been there before, based on this review, um, be aware that you're not going to spend eight pound. <laughs> you're going to spend a lot more than eight pound. They've got a lot of stuff. I mean, we say quite regularly, go and check out the vendor because they've got a lot of stuff, and they always have. You don't say it for no reason. But Sam Fast Tech have got a lot of stuff. Uh, it, it would be a complete and utter massive monumental understatement. They have got more drip tips than sites have got everything combined. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. So obviously we we love and hate Fast Tech. Um, we definitely recommend you go and check them out though because you can get some right old bargains on there. Um, There's not really much we can say about that. To be honest, just make sure you check. At the minute people are going Swiss Post, so I'd, I'd go with that. Follow the masses and at least then if it's wrong, everyone's wrong at the same time. Yeah. Um, that is what it is. I think that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Hopefully it's been a little bit helpful. Um, some of you may agree with us, some of you may not, and we may get some, yeah, that's nothing like a cave one. We're not saying it is, but it does make a lot of one. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I've been Mr. Bridal. It's been a while. See you soon. Yeah.